What's happening everybody? This is On Sean with On Beat Entertainment and today I'm doing a tutorial in Logic Pro X and I'm going to show you how to flip your MIDI regions by using reverse pitch. So what this will enable you to do is take the MIDI notes that you played in a particular region and basically reverse them. It creates a pivot point in your keyboard so that in essence you just flip your keyboard, invert it, and the high notes become the low and the low becomes the high and it takes all the MIDI notes with you and flips them as well. And sometimes it can it can result in some weird sounding things. And sometimes it can result in something that sounds really good, and in a way that in played in a way that you would have never ordinarily thought about playing. Such was the case with this. I would have never gone this direction with this track, but I thought it sounded so good that I that I left it in there. It created a nice little break in the song. Um, so what I'm going to do first is play for you this eight bar loop, this MIDI loop so that you can hear the, the original MIDI loop that I played. This all comes from, surprise, surprise, right here, Omnisphere, it's all big in your face there. Um, but it's, it's some MIDI notes that I played from a sound that I created in Omnisphere. And I'll play this little eight bar loop for you first, and then we'll take it from there. seeing is down here we've got the the MIDI editor window open and this is just showing all the the MIDI notes that are, that I have up here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to functions and I'm gonna go to MIDI transform and I'm gonna come down here to reverse pitch by all by the way all these are different functions for MIDI notes some of them can can make for great sounding uh, almost like effects and some of them can can be just huge time savers like like uh, crescendo and things like that and it enables you to do something in, in a split second that might have taken you a long time other than otherwise so uh, but for right now we're just using reverse pitch and <clears throat> so what reverse pitch is is again it's almost like nailing a nail somewhere here in your keyboard uh, and you, you just hammer, boom, 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 hammer and nail right into, let's say, C3 right there, since that's what we're showing right here. And once that's there, it creates a pivot point. So now you can spin the keyboard, and the top becomes the bottom, and the bottom becomes the top, and all the notes the same thing. These notes at the bottom spin up to the top, to the higher pitched ones, and these notes right here will spin down below. And it just creates a completely weird dynamic. Now, I know a lot of people that are really, really good on the keys and can play the keys very well, but... Even of the great keyboardists that are out there, I don't really know any of them. I'm not saying that there aren't any that can do this. I'm sure there are, but I don't know any personally that I can just walk up to and play what I just played and say, hey, can you do me a favor and play that in reverse for me? Um, play those notes in the, in the reverse order for me. It, it, they may be able to do it after a while, but there's not many people. Maybe Rain Man <laughs> might be able to do that, but I don't know too many people that could just sit down and just hear me request that, and they say, oh, yeah, and then, and then just play it in reverse. But this is a way that you can do that real quick. So um, so what we have here is um, it's, it's a pretty simple-looking screen, and to break this down up here, first of all, it's just saying so of the region that you have selected that you're going to perform the operation on we want to we want to filter by what we have here so what we have here is anything equal to a note so anything that is a note within this basically two regions that we have set here um, which are all shown down here anything that is a note which is everything um, they're all notes um, is going to get reversed and flipped Okay, so then how are we going to flip it? Well, then we look down to here and you can see the word flip right here. We can, you know, that that's that can be changed, by the way, to other things, but we're not doing that today. We're just keeping it at flip and we're going to, and this is basically our pivot point here, C3. So C3 is the point at which when we spin this, for lack of better terminology, when we spin this to make the top, the bottom, and the bottom, the top, um, it's it's got to have some pivot point. So where is it spinning from? Well, C3. C3 is the one thing that's not going to change. Everything else is going to is going to twirl around it. Okay. So we can change this, by the way. I can change this to a different node or whatever. But I'm just going to keep it on C3 and see what happens. It's a nice middle spot in the keyboard. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and select 
select and operate because I want it to select all the notes that in my region that meet this criteria. And I don't want to have to select the notes myself. So I'm going to go ahead and hit select and operate. And now look at that. It changed everything. These long notes that were down here are up top. These, these notes that were down here are now up top and, and vice versa. Everything is just completely reversed. So now let me undo that for a second and remind you of how this sounded at first. Okay, so now let's redo that. And now let's see what it sounds like flipped. So as you can see, it just sounds completely opposite from how it sounded before. And, and I liked that and I decided to keep it for my song and, and, um, I had to change up a couple of things here and there because it's not perfect. Again, I had to change up some of these end notes to, 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 uh, do what I wanted them to do, but, um, I'll play for you the end result song, um, just a snippet. I'm not gonna play the whole song, but, you know, I'll give a link where you can go listen to the whole song if you want, but I'll, I'll, I'll play enough of it so that you can, um, so that you can get the idea and maybe understand why I ended up keeping it. So here's uh, the beginning of the song that I ended up doing to it. Let me unsolo this. And it's, it's all back here in the background. I just have everything hidden because it's a lot of tracks and stuff. So take a listen. drop a link in my in my uh, tutorial details below where you can click and listen to the full beat if you'd like um, but that is uh, reverse pitch and there's a lot of other MIDI transform functions in there that are really cool that you may want to take a, a listen to if you if you're not really messing around with MIDI transform you're definitely missing out there's some cool stuff in there and some time savers and all sorts of uh, good things in there so so that's what i got for you today so if you would please click the thumbs up button for me below and in addition i'd certainly appreciate your support and all you have to do for that is hit the red subscribe below that's it also please leave me a comment i do read all of them whether it's a follow-up question a different way that you like to do things something that you'd like to see me do a tutorial on anything i'd love to hear from you you can follow me on places like twitter and instagram i am at on sean beats all my social media links are in the description below, so hopefully I'll see you there too. And as always, thanks for watching.